Today we are trying to turn this canvas that I got from the dollar store into a frame for my mugwork coasters so I can get more done in little time. I used to use monk's cloth but I found some linen because I saw that people use linen more than monk's cloth. I will cut out a piece and then glue it on here. Yes. It has staples on it so we're gonna have to take the staples off. I'm going to use this to try and pry this off and then use the pliers to take it off Then I have a handy dandy heavy duty stapler to staple the linen onto the canvas success I got kind of impatient so I just ripped the canvas off even though there's still staples in it but I can just staple this back side and then yep this much this is what it looks like so far and I think it worked pretty well. This is the front and I'm making four coasters for an order. This is how it turned out. I did two white and purple flowers and then I did the other flower design that I have. Now we get our Mod Podge and then we finish the back with some of the glue and then Mod Podge the back. It is currently the next day. This is what it looks like. I'm really happy with the little flowers. The rest. So I've cut it out. I will cut it out into circles and then hot glue the insides and put some felt on the back. It looks blue because of the marker that I use and after I put the Mod Podge on top of the marker, the ink bled, however, it didn't affect the front, so we're all good. This part, I try my best not to burn myself, so I use my permanent vinyl weeding tool to press the edges in. Because I did burn myself a crap ton of times with hot glue, and it is not fun at all. Try to just go in a circle. The one thing I like about linen instead of using monk's cloth is it's thinner so the edges aren't as bulky as my other ones because the edges did stick out when I use monk's cloth. So, can you see that? It's thinner on the sides, which I like. And I just do that for all of the other coasters. This is what they look like after the edges are hot glued in. I use felt to cover the backing and make it look a bit neater. I use the coaster that I traced to get the perfect car coaster size and I'll trace the felt and then cut it out and glue it on and we should be done. The hot glue makes the back nice and firm so it doesn't like bend too much. And then here's the other design. I'm super excited to send these out to their new owners. 